it is time to do something about this mess oh my gosh i feel so bad but you guys saw i had it in a little protective style before we moved and it lasted and now it's time to take out the knots and whatnot no. yes our first well at little. least my hair will be better after yeah <laughs> okay come on okay i'm ready i'm coming <laughs> come on, come on. Up the stairs, little one. Up the stairs. Race ya. Oh my goodness. Hi guys, so you, we've been away for a while because we're moving. You guys have seen that. I posted a few videos here and there, but because of the move, I ended up putting her hair in a protective style. This is Brie, by the way. Say hello. Hello. So I put her hair in a protective style <laughs> and um, uh, it's just that takedown day because I just knew there was going to be a gap between a few, like the, the few days where I just couldn't do their hair. So I had her hair in two cornrows and y'all know cornrows can do a girl right. It, it lasted two, they lasted um, almost a week and so we're just at that state where we need to get her hair back together. So. What I actually do to get her, to be honest, her hair needs a deep conditioning, but because this evening right now we're about to run out, I don't have time to do that. Do that. So I'm just going to bring her hair back to life really quickly because it was starting to look a hot mess. And like I said, water is my girl's hair. Water um, is good for everyone's hair in our house, pretty much. Everyone's hair just comes back to life when we add water, and that's what I use. I generally use this one, the Elastic QP. Um leave-in conditioner the mango one because it smells so good but then i already had a few i already had this one the mixed is this mixed chick no mixed uh this one is like a sally thing i think a sal one that i found at sally's it's called mixed silk oh it's by silk elements and it's a pretty good one too i'm not a fan of the smell like it's all right it smells good but it's not like the kind of smells that I do like for hair that, that are kind of like fruity. So that's what I did. I spray her hair down with some water. And as you can see, it looks super soft. I start, I got the idea to put this video up two seconds ago after I already um, kind of combed it out because you should have seen the before product. It was a little dry. <laughs> right, Brie? Yeah. Did it need help? My hair? Yeah. Yes. A lot of help? Yes. The thing about her hair too is that she does have a lot of it and I have to kind of go like, I have to part it to get into um, areas like this to spray water. And that's the, the one thing that I have to do is to ensure that water is making its way inside all of her hair. Because if I just spray it on the outside, then only the top parts are getting moisturized and, and then the leave-in conditioner is not getting anywhere um, on the rest of her hair. So that's not good. And then I'm using this Tangle Tamer. Now excuse the dead hair that's coming out because remember her hair was in a braid for a whole week pretty much. So of course there's gonna be dead hair coming out because our hair sheds every day. But in terms of um, hair brushes that I use in her hair and her type of hair because you can see her hair is finer but it's also super curly and there are only three brushes that I use in her hair. And that one is this Tangle Tamer right here. Um, that's the typical one that I use. And I do prefer it because it's really good uh, for the hand. It's a really, you get a firm hold on it and you can get through the knots really quickly. Um, I Then I'm using the Tangle Tamer. This is the one I'm actually using today. And I'm using it because I can slip my hand through here and then I can just go through her hair really easily and, and then when I get down here I hold it like this and detangle and that's what I do and I have but I have to make sure her hair is parted in sections as I do it I usually um, use a alligator clip to hold her hair out of the way but I'm, I'm just not in that mode right now and you can see what I'm feeling <laughs> and then when I get to the bottom I just do the simple detangling. I'm actually gonna be clipping her hair today. I think I'm gonna try to trim the ends. Either I do it myself or I'm gonna bring her to a salon. We'll see how that works, I'm not sure. But that's that. It's nice and detangled for the most part. 
The good thing with this brush is that it really does um, detangle in between. You think you're just brushing on the top, but it really makes its way in between the hair and it allows for a good detangling. Turn this way for me. Um, in another video, you guys also mentioned that I brush hair rough. Um, like I said, I I upload the video and I do put it in speed form if that's what you guys are talking about. But aside from that, like they're not crying when I'm doing their hair. And if they were, that would be an indicator that it was rough. But I just kind of go through it and I hold on firmly to the top if there's a knot. And then I go down to the bottom and just get the knot out like that. And that's pretty much it. But her hair's back to life. I'm still trying to figure out good products to work in this kid's hair because her hair is so fine that if we add too much product to her hair, it creates buildup really quickly and then her hair is weighed down and feels uh, greasy. And that's not a good look or a good feel, so.